All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel, and today we're gonna to be replacing the headlights on my old Ford 1999 Super Duty F250. Uh, I got some new headlights from uh, Headlight Depot. As you can see, I've already done one, and I learned a couple little tricks uh, that I'm gonna share with you guys while we do the other one. All right, so since I decided I'm gonna keep the old Ford, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, I wanna start doing some minor upgrades to the thing that just will make it a little bit more enjoyable to drive. Now, one of the upgrades I'm doing, as you can see, is these headlights. Uh, the old Fords are known for having these glazed over headlights. My visibility at night is really poor. So, I, like I said, I picked up these headlights from uh, Headlights Depot, just a place I found on Amazon. I think they were like 80 bucks or something like that. So this is just a really nice, cheap upgrade that I think is gonna make a big difference in my enjoyment of driving the old Ford around. Now, I watched a couple YouTube videos and saw how to remove the headlights, and for the most part, uh, the videos were good and they, they stepped me through what I need to do. But when I was doing this headlight, I realized that getting the bottom connector off this headlight uh, is really problematic. There's a couple pieces of plastic you have to pinch together, and I just couldn't seem to get my fingers in there, and I really struggled with it. So in the process of doing that, I figured out a way uh, to make that a lot simpler. So let's get started working on this headlamp and uh, we'll go through kind of the whole procedure of replacing the headlamp. And so I've got the headlamp and I'm also replacing uh, the fog lights too. So we've got a headlamp here and fog light uh, that we'll be replacing. All right, so we're set up on the headlight. The first thing we need to do is there's two clips, one here and one over here. They're the top clips. There's these little metal, little clips that you need to get out. Um, I've seen some videos talk about using a bent awl to get these out. I don't have a bent awl, so we're just going to use, we're just going to use a, a pair of pliers here and see if we can't get in there and get them get them out. These are also replaceable. You can, you can find them on Amazon. So if you do mess one up, then uh, you can replace it. But there you go, there's a clip. There's one here and there's one right over here as well. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and get it out and set it aside. All right, so in order to get this headlight all the way out, there is one more connection that you can see here. Looking at the old or the new headlamp, there's this connector down here below, and you have to reach in back here and squeeze in two little tabs that on this new connector are very easy to squeeze in, but on my old connector, it's actually quite difficult to be able to squeeze them in and uh, trying to get that piece out. So what I have found, just the easiest thing to do is uh, with your Phillips head screwdriver, uh, I can just remove this connector off of this one completely. There, so now I've got this connector completely removed off of this one. What I'm gonna basically do is instead of fighting to get that connector off, I'm just going to remove uh, this connector so I can reach down in through here. You can reach that long screw that we just pulled off that one. I can reach right down in through here and I can do the same thing. So I'm just gonna look here to make sure I'm going the right way. Also, you wanna take note, you can take note of how far uh, your screw is pointing out your connector here. So when you go to put this all back in, then you can get it pretty close, but you might still need to do a little fine tuning once uh, nighttime comes. There, so now the headlight is free. I just have to undo the collar here. Go ahead and unplug my headlamp and I don't need the bulb because the new headlamp came with a new bulb and now um, 
that's out. So that was super easy and I'll be able to just re reuse the connector that's still in here with the new light. It's not coming out, it's not broken, it's not damaged in any way. So there's no reason why I can't use it. So the next thing I need to do is go ahead and take my fog lights off. Um, that's pretty easy. There's gonna be two screws down below here that you have to get down uh, your screwdriver down into and, and get your screwdriver down into and unscrew them and uh, we'll get that off now. All right, so now that I've got the two screws down at the bottom, the, it's just a matter of kind of grabbing it and giving it a good little bit of a pull right there and now it's loose. Just pop off my lights. I've got some burnout lights here, so we'll be replacing those as well. There, so uh, completely off, and now we're ready to install the, the new setup. Uh, this will be pretty simple. I'm just gonna set the camera up and give you guys a quick time lapse. It's just gonna be um, a reversal of what we just did. Okay, so one thing I wanna be sure to do is the new kit came with a new rubber seal. So I wanna take the old rubber seal off this uh, and discard, we'll go ahead and just discard it and make sure we put the new, new seal on the bulb. And then just get it on and line it up and give it a twist so it lines up. Same thing with the little side bulb here. We're just gonna slide it in. All right, so there's just some holes you need to line up, make sure they're lined back up and then they'll just snap. The whole thing will just snap into place. And there you go. So now the new, new light bulb or the new lower part of the light housing is in. Uh, just gotta put the screws in down below. So we'll work on, we'll go ahead and put this in. So what we need to do, because we're gonna just reuse the connector, we need to make sure that that go, starts to slide in there. And then again, grab, I'm using a 930 seconds here. Just go back down to the adjuster and get it started. There we go. Now we'll get it started. And there it's sucking it right back in there. So we'll just be able to reuse those. That just makes life so much easier. And it's just a matter of getting it all screwed back in. And I can look, like I said, I can look back at the back here and see where, how far it was sticking out the back and try to get it within that same spot and it should be pretty close. Also make sure that as you're screwing it in that you're guiding your, uh, you're guiding your other two connectors right up here so that they are going into place where they need to go. All right, so that's as simple as that. Uh, we got it all back in. Uh, that took a whole lot easier. Probably took me uh, more than less than half the time than it took me with the other light bulb trying to go ahead and get that other plug out of there. So anyways, I hope this might help some of you guys that have this kind of truck and thinking about doing this upgrade. This is a you know fairly inexpensive upgrade to do one of these old trucks that I think is gonna go a long ways and I'm gonna be really happy about. It's also gonna be, you know, as I continue to do stuff with the truck, I've got a few more things that I'd like to do that are just simple practical upgrades and that we'll uh, keep going over with you guys. So anyhow, I hope you guys, uh, like I said, I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, please give it a like. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, you leave those down in the comments and I'll try to get back with you and I'll catch you guys again outside.